guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a thumbnail so the first app i'm going to be using is bazaar so we're gonna click make from scratch and then you're gonna choose a photo you would like to use this is the photo i choose so what we're gonna do is you're gonna slide across and then you're gonna see erase so i'm just gonna erase my photo around it and make sure it's erased around properly and then when i'm done with that i went on the opposite side and i click outline and once I click outline, I sized up the outline how I would like it to be. You guys can outline your photo however you want it. And once you're done with that, go ahead and save it. What I did next, I went on Google to search for a sunray photo. So I found one. So once you guys find one, you can go ahead and save it. You don't have to mark PNG. Now I'm back on Google and I went and typed in 180 minutes camera overlay and I searched for my picture and actually it's like the first picture, the, like the second picture and I went ahead and saved this picture into my camera roll and that's it. I'm back on Fonto, you just click photo album and I choose my background photo but this is a photo I just got from on Google. You're going to see what I'm going to do with it. So go ahead and save uh, any photo you want from on Google. So now you're going to you're gonna take the Sunray picture and add and oversize it over that. And then you're going to click on the Sunray. Oh, not yet. So what I did is I went to the tree lines and add images. And then I chose the tree images that I've cut out with the outline and I add them over the sunray picture to size up the photo you just click on the photo you will see size tilt moving alpha you just go on size and you size it up to your liking so i'm just playing and sizing up mine to my liking After I placed up my pictures, you're going to click like to the top so you can get to click the sunray photo and then you're going to click alpha and then you're going to set your alpha to how much you like it but I set mine to 67. So after I set the alpha to 67, I click just to the bottom that I can get the photos to bring the photos back in front of the sunray photo click add image then choose the camera overlay photo then you're gonna size it up as well and then the arrow on the right side you're gonna click that and then click blend and then click screen and then you're gonna size it up from there You're going to click the photos from the bottom so that you can bring them back in front of the camera overlay. I'm in PixArt and now you're going to go scroll down and choose the transparent background. And now you're going to choose stickers and then you're going to go on the search bar and click Im and type in emojis hot eyes. And this is the image I choose. And once I've 
click that you press done or apply I'm not sure which one it said and then you're gonna save it and then you're gonna go back into the search bar and then you're gonna click emoji draw with those are the ones I chose and then this is the other one I saved and then they are gonna be saved into your camera roll and now we're gonna use them press add image and then choose the emoji we just came from saving and I'm gonna place mine here and I'm gonna choose the other one and I'm placing my other one on the right side and I'm just gonna click the photos so that the photos can be in front of the emoji because I like it that way I click below on the screen you're gonna see text and I typed in how to make um, I actually mistaken typed in how to so go ahead and type in how to make and once you typed in that you're gonna click on the text and you're gonna see an arrow on the side and click curve go ahead and curve your text Click on the text and you're gonna go on to style and you're gonna see shadow and you just put a little shadow however you want. Go ahead and play with the shadow and then what I did is I went on to spacing because I find the letters was a little too far apart so I space it in a little bit. Click on the text into the top, you will see color. Go ahead and choose whatever color you want. I chose red, and with that, I made my text piece by piece. So, after the how to make, I went ahead and typed in thumbnails, and I made my thumbnails red as well. And I went ahead and covered my thumbnail also. Guys, as you can see, I moved my photos up a little bit because as you can see, it was a little bit too down. So I'm just fixing everything upwards. I typed in on you and I went ahead and put that to the color gray and I kept that one straight and 
and then for the last part iPhone I put the color I put the color blue so I curved the word iPhone upwards and not down like the rest and I went ahead and sides down the sides for iPhone and as you can see I'm just playing around with it for for everything to be in the middle and place properly so it can look good so now that I'm done I went ahead and save it and this is how it looks when you save it you are seeing the actual picture and it's done guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helped you guys because don't forget i learned my videos from off of youtube as well and i will have every link in the description for you guys if you want to know more